yes, uh, you can describe it as that, but you know, as, <laughs> am I always critical? We have to play football early on in the game, be more calm. Um, we make many mistakes on the ball, unnecessary mistakes. But uh, if you are not that good in possession, definitely you have to have a good defending organization and win your battles. And, and that's normal in a rivalry is always the same. Uh, it's starting with that, uh, to win your battles, uh, second balls, and so the challenges and in defending, but also offense. And then you, yeah, you can grip in the game. And yeah, till you have that first goal, and you have to keep doing that. And I think from the moment on we made the first goal, I think there was more composure and the quality on the ball was better. Yes, of course, but I think uh, Ressi has the skills to score with right, with left, and with his head. And it's about him getting into the position, but also from the team, uh, have the capabilities to to pass him there, uh, to cr or to cross him as, as today. And uh, I think that that is what I just wanted to describe. If you have a better formation and calmness on the ball and you get switch of play or you bring an extra pass like we did with the goal and yeah, then finally and now was it joy great cross and Marcos was in the right time there but I think once again it's also a good move from Wout Weghorst to um, front post Have you been challenging Marcus to get more goals he's, he's kept scoring hasn't he since the World Cup Ah you uh, I, I don't know I think but you in general you said me uh, do you think do you have a a player in your squad who can score 20 goals uh, in was it August September, uh, and I confirmed. I think he can do it. And now, uh, if you are satisfied with it, yeah, then it will stop, uh, because satisfaction uh, is going to laziness. Uh, you have to keep investing every day. But when he is keeping the investment and keep the focus in every game and bring the energy in and the belief and then he will score and he will keep scoring and so then yeah, I don't know where it will stop but yeah, he has to go from game to game and during the week do the right things Does that drive come from him or you or a combination of both? Oh, I think as a manager, as a coaching, coaching staff and we have to push him but finally it has to come from the player and when he lose focus, uh, then the scoring will stop. Clear. Yes, I think we took we took some lessons there, and we try to transfer it today. That's that's clear, but. Yeah. Also, I think both games, the first, we, we could have win uh, and we should have win in Palace when you concede the goal. Uh, and so one minute before time, or I think already it was extra time, and against Leeds uh, on the Wednesday, uh, when you start both halves so sloppy and you are uh, quickly down with 2-0, uh, then you have to be happy and you get a draw out. Definitely, but um, I had some talks with him about that, uh, and that is about taking responsibility. He had those chances, uh, but he was in the right position. The team brings him the ball, uh, but also his investment. I don't want to look away from that, but once he is there, uh, on our level, you have to score the goal then. And okay, uh, not every challenge of not every um, chance can be a goal, but. Uh, two, one has to be in. That's res taking responsibility. Sorry to go back to, to Marcus. Do you see him now as one of the most, as maybe the most dangerous striker in Europe at the minute? Oh, he, he's definitely one of them. That uh, in this, um, he has the skills. I was convinced from the first moment. Uh, 
Uh, I was really excited to work with him. And yeah, I, I thought I could get more out of him. And but yeah, he has so many th skills, um, so high potential. And I think yeah, it can be even more. Uh, he can, when he works well, he, he will even score more goals uh, because he can score with right, with left and with his head. Yes, but I uh, return. I don't. I think it's the uh, it's the wrong remark because he played against Reading. He played against uh, Bournemouth, uh, um, and Harry will keep playing many games. But uh, we need that because we are the only team in Europe who's playing in four competitions. What did you say to Michael Skibala at full time? Pardon? What did you say to Michael Skibala at full time? At full time, he did well. Uh, well done, and I think why and we said both it were two great games um, for um, for the fans in particular. And football, I think, is the big winner from those two games. In, uh, and I think also the all the everyone in North England will be proud. Uh, last question, Oli. I didn't know. I didn't feel the uh, hostility. Uh, I think it was a great atmosphere, okay, great ambience, and uh, and that has to be in a rivalry. It has to be, and uh, like it was this, and we really enjoyed it.